everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm filming a plan with me in my Erin Condren and I will be planning for the week of May the 8th. The kit that I'm using is from Planet Gems and this is her March mystery kit called May. It isn't available anymore since it was a mystery kit but I purchased this after she brought it back to the store and I picked it up in the essentials kit along with the double box and gem header add-on. So that is what I'm using for this week. So on to the plan with me. First thing I'm doing is putting down the bottom washi and then I'm going to put down the page flags on the side of the page. And then I'm going to move on to my sidebar. And for my sidebar, I'm just going to explain it now because I really couldn't decide how I wanted everything laid out. I went in with the quote box, and then underneath that I am marking the week of the school trimester with the label stickers from Planner Gems, and then I'm using one of the deco stickers from the kit just to add a little bit of something there. Then in the pink um, sidebar sticker, I am marking down my work schedule or just working hours, and then I am using the grey um, sidebar sticker to mark down any physical activity that I do such as exercise or anything and then the habit tracker I am using is to just track my skincare routine and as you can see I sort of really didn't know how I wanted everything spaced out and I sort of tend to do that quite a bit with planner gem kits mostly because I can never get it spaced out perfectly whenever I use them since I don't use her sidebar stickers that often so it was a little bit of work but I got it and then after that I'm going to move on to the weekly section and the first thing I'm going to do is put down the gem headers. I decided to leave out the black shade because I wanted this spread to be a little bit more light. I didn't want it to be too dark and then I decided when if I would do that um, I just incorporate the black shades into the actual spread of the kit through the boxes and labels and everything. Yeah, I think my camera cut off, but I went in with my checklists and I'm also I'm just putting down the double box and weekend banner. Since I'm using a double box on the weekend, I just went in with my checklists on Monday to Friday. And now after that, I'm going to move on and start pre-planning out my week. First thing that I'm going to mark are my classes and for my classes I wanted to use those gem flags at the beginning but I have five classes this week and I needed five not three so I decided just to pull in the glitter flags from Planet Gems which is what I have been using to mark my classes for the past few weeks and I have been really enjoying those so I decided to use them for this week again and everything and I never thought that I would like using flags to mark down my classes but they work really nicely so I am using those then after that I'm going to just mark down any major appointments and everything like that so after this I think I put something down on Wednesday and all of that also for this week I was a little bit more creative with my stickers and since in the style that I'm planning in right now I realized throughout the week that I wouldn't really be able to use my full boxes that much and as you will see I think I only got one full box in for the entire spread so um, in a little bit I decided to make some date covers with some of the full boxes but before that I am putting down some little things across each day and covering up the icon with a little people doodle sticker from Peaceful Mind Design and the colour scheme that I have is in Emily so or the character that I have is Emily so I put those down and those are to mark the study sessions and I also put down a movie marquee on Friday and now I'm just going to go through put down the one appointment I think that I had Oh no, before that, um, I am marking down the plan with me on Tuesday and then I also had a optometrist appointment on Tuesday morning so I am marking those down. I swapped out the icon that I used on the little thing for a planner sticker from the kit to mark the plan with me and then for the optometrist appointment she has those um, eye chart type of stickers that they use at the optometrist so I use that to mark that appointment. 
And now I'm just writing that in. And now I'm going to mark down that I had to do some reporting on Wednesday. And I used the gem label, which was underneath the full boxes for that, with the credit card stickers from the kit. And I really love her sort of decorative icon stickers. They're one of my favorites. So I have that. And now I'm going to go on to Sunday and mark that it is Mother's Day. So what I did was take two strips of the gold washi and layered that underneath a half box. Then I decided to take majority of the deco stickers from the kit and just decorate that area to mark down that it was Mother's Day and everything so that is what I am doing now and yeah so I feel a little bit all over the place just because of the fact of how I am planning I am pretty much just going all over but um hopefully you guys don't mind too much but yeah after I have done that I'm going to go and make those date covers now since I realized, like I mentioned, I wouldn't really be able to use the full boxes that much in this spread. So what I did was choose two full boxes that was mostly plain. And then I measured out the height. So I decided to go with, I think it was 1.5 centimeters. And I just marked that out on the sheet. And then I cut them out with my X-Acto knife. I have... They're more like utility knife type of things, but you can use a X-Acto blade or the slice brand cutters and whatever you have really. So I am just cutting those out and as you will see, I'm just measuring the height of it and I found that it was perfect. So then after that, I'm taking these little square stickers that I recently came out with and I'm using those to put down the dates for the days. So I decided to go with the box that has the sort of little triangle sort of design on the corners instead of the dotted box before. And then here I was trying to figure out between a gold or a white pen, but I decided to go with the white pen since I thought it would be a little bit more easier to write with and it would also stand out. So I am just alternating between the boxes that I'm writing those down on and then just writing out the days of the week and then after that I'm going to put down the dates and then just put those over top and this is the first time I've ever made date covers like this and I really like the way that it came out so if you are not the type to really use your full boxes that much maybe this is something you could try out and it was also pretty easy um, and you don't have to do any sort of fancy lettering like I did, you can just go in with just simple capital letters or whatever. So that is that. And I really like the way that it came out. And it also just sort of like bordered the spread, if that makes sense, since there was dark at the bottom and so there was some dark at the top. So that is what that looks like. And I really like the way that it looks. So I just fixed up a few of the letters and now I'm going to go through and start planning day by day. So moving on to Monday, I am marking down that it is Coffee Monday. So I took the coffee cup that was on the deco sheet and I'm just hand lettering in Coffee Monday. The pen that I'm using for this week is the Stadler Triplus Fine Liner in the black. Since I am using glossy stickers and I found that this is my favorite pen to use on glossy stickers. Then after that, I am moving down to my checklist. This is also a few days afterwards, which is why there is a nail polish change. And then I'm moving up to the top section again, and I'm using a flag with the mail sticker from the kit to mark that I wanted to order from Planet Gems since she did reopen on Monday. Then after that, I am taking one of the sort of third box size stickers with the fern from the kit and I'm just writing down that I played some Citus which is a music game app and I played that quite a bit this week and I also decided to schedule out some time to play that for this week so that will be recurring throughout the week. Then after that in that little space I just wanted to mark that Monday was more of a lazy day so I took a strip of washi and layered a lazy day sticker from that planet girl. And now I'm moving on to Tuesday and I'm just going in with my checklist first since the top section for Tuesday was already filled out a little bit before. And then in the bottom section of Tuesday, 
actually no before that sorry i'm taking a nail polish icon which is from my store and i'm just using that next to paint nails then i am moving down to the bottom section of tuesday in that quarter box size sticker i will be marking that i played some more sighters and i used a bone icon from that planner girl which will be coming a little bit later and then in that space above i put down two strips of washi with a quarter box label since my sister and i walked down to kfc so i wanted to put that down since nothing else really happened and just because of the way that i wrote down all of my to do's i didn't want to repeat them and put them down in the other section so I had to be a little bit more creative when it came to putting stuff down. So I used a meal icon from the kit and just wrote that down next to it. And like I mentioned before, that food icon is from that planner girl. And now that I have finished writing down that I played some more citus, I'm going to move on to Wednesday. So on to Wednesday, first thing I did was fill out my to-do list and I just filled out a whole bunch of stuff that I needed to get done. Then after that, I wanted to mark that I did a whole bunch of tidying up in my room. I just needed to do pretty much a deep clean, basically, since I have let my room go. So I took the three checklist sticker and then I took a tidy icon from the kit. And then in the spaces next to the checklist, I just wrote down everything that I did to clean up my bedroom. Then after that, I'm moving down to the bottom section of Wednesday. And I decided for some reason, I wasn't too sure why, I moved the original um, little thing label over to Saturday. So I took some undo and pulled that up. And then I am going to be putting that on Wednesday. And here is when I realized that I wasn't really using my full boxes. So I took one of the full boxes that was more empty at the bottom. And then I layered the little thing label over top of that. And then I wanted a skinny flag type of sticker. So I decided to take the little things. And since they have a sort of flag design already on the sticker itself, I just cut off the label area. And then I am just writing down that I had a filming night. And... I trimmed that down a little bit since I didn't want it to take up that full space. And then I'm taking that same doodle sheet from that planner girl. I'm taking the film clapper sticker for it and I'm just putting that down underneath. And I really like the way that came out. It just looks really, really pretty. And then here I wanted to change up one of the to do's. So I decided to take some sticker paper and cover it up with that since I found that using whiteout on a Stadler Triplus isn't really that nice and it doesn't really write that smoothly in my opinion. So I decided just to use sticker paper and that was the first half of the week. So now I'm moving on to the second half. The first thing that I'm going to do is take a little thing and I'm pulling out my monthly stickers from that sorry, from Planner Gems, and I am pulling out the optometrist sticker from there, since on Friday I went to go and pick up my contact lenses, so I wanted to mark that down first, and since um, the sticker is quite small, I'm just showing you guys right now, that it, it is the same sort of eye chart sticker from Tuesday, just in a different colour scheme, and I think this was from the January monthly kit, so... I am just using that to mark that I needed to pick up my contact lenses and I'm super excited about those since it's the first time I've had contact lenses and I'm just excited to not have to wear my glasses so often. But on Thursday, I put down a quarter box with one of the decorative stickers, which I think was actually the, probably the last one. And I just wrote down outstanding tasks on that since I had a few things left over from the beginning of the week that I couldn't get done. And now I am just filling out my checklist and then moving to the bottom section of Thursday. I put down a flag and then another quarter label from the gem header, sorry, gem header add-on sheet. In the flag, I put down a little me time sheepy, which is from my store. And I'm just using that to mark that I wanted to wear a face mask on um, Thursday night just to give myself a little bit of me time and then in the quarter box I am marking that I played some more sighters 
And originally I used the yellow since I thought it was close enough to the gold but I wasn't really happy with the way that it was standing out so I just swapped it out for a grey fern which is from Pop Mix Design and I'm just writing down that I played Morsitis. It was basically my main form of entertainment for this week was just playing that. So now on to Friday. On Friday, first thing I am doing is just filling out my checklist and just putting a whole bunch of things down. Friday was also the Australian Planner. Oh dear, I don't remember what the C stands for, but it was the APC, no, Australian Planner Collective sale. So um, they were having a Mother's Day sale, so I wanted to remember that, so I put that down in my checklist. And then I also covered up the first to do with some with some um, sticker paper and covered up whatever I wrote since I didn't want to use whiteout. And then moving up to the top of Friday, I put down a half box with a little stressed tabby from Tamashi Prince to mark that I wanted to work on my lecture notes and originally I have been handwriting those out but it's been stressing me out since we are getting close to exam period and I haven't really caught up so I just decided to go through and type them up instead and that is basically how I looked um, so I thought it was a perfect sticker for that and then now I am filling up the movie marquee with the movies that my sister and I watched and then I received some happy mail from that planning girl so I put that down on a little thing and I'm putting that down on Friday. Then I'm also taking a little smug money sheepy from my store since it was the APC sale. So I wanted to stock up on a few stickers and just buy a whole bunch since I haven't bought stickers just for like fun for a little while so I went through and just put that down and then after that I'm going to move on to the weekend. First thing that I'm going to put down on the weekend is that I slept in on Saturday so I'm taking a strip of washi with a little sleepy sheepy which is from my store and I'm going to be writing down that I accidentally slept in it wasn't my intention to sleep in but I ended up doing it anyway so I decided just to mark that down and I really like the way that I wrote this down, or well, not really wrote it down, how I layered the little sheepy off to the side. It just looks really, really cute. So underneath that, I took a laptop sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark that I wanted to have a design day since I have been working on a few new releases. And also I wanted to get a birthday kit done for myself which unfortunately I wasn't able to finish in time for the following week, which is my birthday week. So um, in next week's plan with me, you will see that I changed the name up. I'm not referring to it as birthday kit anymore. But um, on the bottom of Saturday, I put down one of the gem label stickers and a little open book sticker from that planning girl to mark that I wanted to work on those lecture notes. And then I took the last strip of the full box that I used when I was making the date covers and I took that cut it in half and used that as washi. And then I also used a little me time sheepy just to mark that I wanted to have some me time on Saturday night. And then here I wasn't too happy with how I positioned everything so I peeled it up with the purpose of swapping them around but then once I put it down I realized that I put them down in the same way that I had them originally so I pulled it back up and I swapped the two around. And then after that I am just sort of repositioning everything and then I'm taking the arrow stickers from the kit and I'm using those basically like bullet points and I'm just writing down the few kits that I wanted to work on. Since my shop anniversary is coming up soon I wanted to work on something for that and then also um, the birthday kit which I won't be referring to it as that anymore since I wasn't able to get it finished in time for that but um, I just wrote those down. I also covered up the first set of writing that I did because I wasn't happy with it but on to Sunday I'm taking a nail polish sticker from Fox and Cactus. It was from a sampler just to mark that I wanted to paint my nails on Sunday night and then after that I'm going to mark that I had another design day on 
Sunday, so I'm taking the last strip of gold washi and I cut that in half and then after that I put a half box over it with a little laptop icon and one of the deco pieces which actually I think was the last piece of deco from the kit and I'm just using that to mark that it was a design day. Also the laptop is from Love for Stickers who I recently just found out is actually not open anymore so that is that. And here are the close-ups of the spread. I really loved using this kit and I really loved the way that it all came out and everything. I definitely am very happy with this whole spread so that's that and I will show you what I have left as well. Also before I forget I wanted to mention this before but I just remembered now and forgot about it beforehand but I am thinking about doing a Q&A type of video so if you are interested in that please let me know and if you are can you leave me a question? Obviously you don't have to um, but if you would like something like that please let me know and so yeah here are all of the stickers and everything and I have quite a bit left I have enough to do a pretty minimal spread and as always I will link all of the stores that I use down below as always have a wonderful day or night and I will see you all in my next video bye